Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to add sidebar gadgets using the Windows sidebar that came with Windows Vista Ultimate. Now all the other Windows Vistas, if that made sense, are um, uh, Google Desktop, which is, it's basically the same thing. Now um, these are the gadgets that I have, which is my date and my clock. Um, my weather, which is blurred out because I don't want you to know where I live, so don't come to my house with a white band because you won't be able to find my house. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, my CPU meter, which is running at 100% right now because I'm calling, talking to somebody on Skype, which is my friend Cypress Films. And he's not there right now. Here I am. Oh, he's right there. I see his head right there. he is. Say hi. I like Mountain Dew. Okay. All right. So let's get back. Yeah. And I have my notepad and my ticks time clock. So to get new things, sidebar gadgets. Seth is a little annoying and ticked me off. But just click add gadgets, and you can see these are the gadgets that I have right here. Like if I drag lava lamp onto my desktop, it's a lava lamp. Watch it. Whoa, whoa, it's doing the same thing. Oh, whoa. What is that little orange dot thing in the middle? Yeah. Okay, so that was weird. Just got a little weird there again. Um, so to get more gadgets, just go get more gadgets online. Pretty self explanatory. If you don't, I guess it wouldn't be as easy if you were blind, but then you shouldn't be using a computer if you're blind. I'm sorry, but yeah. And once it opens up, what was that? And once it opens up, you can uh, see it's opened up in Firefox. And sometimes they don't work right in Firefox. Sometimes you have to copy the URL over to Internet Explorer, and I'll show you how to do that. But we'll download Google Gadget, which is just Googling something. So if we click that, you click OK. And this is how you tell if it's going to work or not. If it opens up, and it says this, you make sure it says open with Windows sidebar default, and you click OK. Ugh. Now you can see that it's scanning for viruses, and there's not going to be any viruses it's from Microsoft.com, but no guarantees because I don't know what Microsoft's got going on. Yeah. And now it's not going to open up because it's weird. So what you're going to have to do is, is you're click on the name of the gadget that you're trying to download. And you click on that. And somebody keeps dropping a fork. And you take the link at the top of the screen. Copy it. And then open up Internet Explorer. Boo-hoo. Everybody hates Internet Explorer. And once Internet Explorer opens, you can just copy the text into the link. You're the, you're that thing whatever it's called. Address bar, that's what it's called. That's what it's called, and then it takes you right back to where you were, so then you just click download install. Please read carefully. I don't really care. And then wait for uh, this to pop up, and then click open. Then it will say this, and you click allow. Then install, and then you can just close out Internet Explorer. So now, if you right-click, click Add Gadgets again, <clears throat> and then you can see all the gadgets. Oh, look, Google Gadget. Just drag that onto your desktop. Close this out. What should we Google? Hmm, Elmo Gwen. And enter, and you can see it automatically brings up my default. What? Wow. Google's being a little weird. Anyways, it brings up my Google, it brings up Google, of what I Googled, and um, it brings it up in your main web browser, which I have Firefox as my default. I'm not really sure what's going on with Google, but anyways, you can see it. So, thanks for watching this video, even though it's kind of weird. Um, please subscribe, go to my website, www.almuck1.tk. Um, and you can uh, add me on Twitter. Twitter's awesome. Or add me on Skype, too.
So, um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.